guys welcome back to another helpful free software tips tutorial so today i'll be showing you another um, tutorial on how you could fix a um, blue screen error on windows 10 and um, particularly going to address the issue with regards to um, the ATI KMDAG that is related or ATI or the kernel mode driver um, cause of error in a Windows 10 so basically this is related with the graphics driver of uh, your computer so um, if you don't have this kind of tool and you'd, you'd want to know particular cause to your um, blue screen of death or error on your Windows you can download this um, free amazing software I'll just put this link on the description and you could go ahead and install it and just simply hit the analyze button and it will analyze all the dump files um, generated by your computer and you could just simply scroll down until you see what um, caused your um, blue screen error so um, for now we're going to address this kind of issue so we're just going to minimize this one and what we have to do first is um, go to our start menu right click it go to the device manager um, you'll be taken to this um, window device manager window wherein all of your devices will be listed here and what we're interested in is the um, display adapters and our processor so expand both of them and um, on the this under the display adapters um, right click it and hit the update driver you could select the search automatically for updated driver software and once it's done updating you could restart your computer and observe whether that fixed the issue if not um, just leave this um, window open and uh, we're going to update your drivers manually so we're just going to um, go to our web browser and if you're using um, uh, a laptop or a desktop it doesn't matter as long as you are using AMD um, it's equipped with AMD drivers so um, we're going to open up our browser and go to amd.com forward slash en forward slash support I'll put this link again on the description for your um, convenience and um, we're going to just select our product here I have a, a processor with graphics card and uh, according to this um, device manager you can see that I'm using Ryzen 5 3500U um, model of um, this processor so um, I'll go to select the um, AMD Ryzen 5 mobile processors since I'm using a laptop one and it will show me this um, option Ryzen 5 3500U um, these settings or uh, these models may vary depending on your um, laptop so be sure to check the appropriate um, driver or processor on your device manager so once you're able to select and find your specific model just hit the submit button it will take you to this download page of the drivers and software select the um, appropriate operating system I'm, I'm using Windows 10 64-bit edition and just go ahead and download it but um, I won't going to be downloading it since I've already downloaded it so I'll just open it up and uh, hit the install button it will extract the files and uh, let's just wait for it to finish so once it's done extracting all the necessary installation files it will take you to this um, window just hit the um, accept and custom install it will check for uh, updated new drivers this will only happen if you're connected to the internet but after that uh, just click the install button uh, select all the necessary uh, drivers that you're going to update and install and be sure to click the clean install so it will um, remove your previous installation of driver or all previous um, drivers installed so that um, it would make sure that there will be no um, the driver won't roll back to its previous or latter version so once it's done um, 
the uh, installation will automatically restart your computer and just um, check and see if it uh, fixed your blue screen error related with the ATIK MDAG that sys error so uh, and uh, another thing that we could do if there's still some blue screen error that you're still experiencing go ahead and go to our start menu and open a command prompt as administrator type in sfc space scan now so this is this will going to check for system um, files which could be um, corrupted it will verify all the files of the um, system in order to check whether there are files that needs to be fixed and uh, yeah which could uh, be causing the, uh, the screen error so um once this verification is done it will you can just simply close it and restart your computer so that's it guys if this video helped you leave a like and leave your comments down below so that i could help you out or provide some feedbacks and don't forget to su subscribe for more helpful tutorial peace out